Good morning, fans. Privateer FX coming at you 11 July. Uh, just do a little quick rundown here. Equities. Yeah, a little bit higher, sort of bottom third of the recent range. Crude up to 74. Nonsense 15, back down to 72. 60. Settling here, pretty meaningless. Rates 4%. Had a pretty sort of downish day for the 10 year yield heading into CPI tomorrow. Looks like the market's expecting a very, very soft CPI. I mean, it doesn't take a fucking genius, right? Euros at 110.20. Um, we're patiently waiting for 111. This looks like it's just, you know, Icarus being attracted to the sun. Um, uh, cables through 128.50. Next stop here is 130. Um, and gold. Talked about it yesterday. We're collectors of gold here on dips. Core long. Um, for CPI, we, we, will, we will undoubtedly be break trading 1936 if it holds. Although seven bucks away, why would it hold? Um, this downward, you get this confluence of technicals. You got a downward sloper and you got. Um, You get 1936 as resistance. Here's an odd one, dollar Swiss. Um, this is now getting stretched. And so what does this mean? Well, um, the dollar is on the back foot. Everyone's expecting a really light or low or soft CPI, 0 0.3, 3.1, co with the core at 0 0.3. Um, if month on month comes in at flat, holy shit, um, euro goes a lot higher. But dollar Swiss now is in this funny, funny zone here. Whereas we're going to the year's lows, this gets quite sticky down here. And so what happens? Euro Swiss has to go higher. So if euro dollar is going higher, but dollar Swiss has long term uh, sticky bids, whatever you want to call it. Euro Swiss uh, has to take the brunt of it and, and head to the right. So if you believe that, there's two things you can do. You can either buy some dollar Swiss, I don't know, around 88 centimes. It's another half a percent away on this sort of stretchy stretch. Uh, if you don't believe the dollar is going to keep going lower, uh, and if you want to put on some sort of weird carry trade, because there is some carry with dollars against Swiss. Or if you just want to be nimble day trader, day trader Danny, um, you trade Euro Swiss from the long side uh, in these in these type situations. So it's something that we're watching. We have been trading Euro Swiss. We've been quite nimble about it, just sort of snatching 10 pips here, 10 pips there. 30 pips here and then you wear 30 pips against you but you just your position is nimble enough that you're like okay panic stations are what 9650 um, it's kind of a sloppy unprofessional way to trade uh, but I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people listening to this are sloppy and unprofessional uh, so that may be maybe your cup of tea our main focus is gold, um, 1935, and then of course, Euro. When are we close enough to know that 111 is going to trade? I don't know if we're there now. Before I went to sleep last night, I was like, gosh, I hope 110, 12 holds. And almost like clockwork, anytime you say that before you go to bed, um, you know it's never gonna, it's never gonna hold. Um, so let's just see. Um, we got UK, we got important UK numbers out in 45 minutes. So I'm gonna hop here um, quickly. Uh, take my bicycle to the office, get ready for that, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Gold, Euro, Euro, Swiss, uh, all. All in play today here at Privateer FX. Ciao.